what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. This stadium has that feel of a genuine coliseum. It could only be Rome. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. Italy have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. Way. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? It has to be Aaron Ramsey. Uh, we shouldn't forget the dreadful leg break he suffered, but he's rebuilt his career to a very high level again, and besides all his midfield quality, he's become a scorer of some great goals. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Ramsey. Davis. And it's Ramsey. Across the field it goes. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Now it's Bale. Out for a throw. Jorginho takes control of it and he's on the move. And a header! It's put in for the pieces! Goal, Italy! And Italy score first! Hennessy did well the first time, nothing he could do about the follow-up. But for me, that's just pure credit for brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. Wales have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, 
that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Florenzi. Insignia. Point blank header! He's pulled off a fine save! Immobile sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Gets up to head it! That's a half decent try. Mobile. Really felt he'd done enough. He's having a momentary visit to the world of disbelief here. Davis. And it's played forward. Good idea, just poorly executed. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Lorenzo Insigne, and the ball's come out! Played out to the right, chance to break, foot in. Forward it goes. Chiellini gets it back. Berardi goes long. Davis sends it forward. Jorginho. Oh, this is the outcome. It is good to see someone running at the defence like that. And the first half is done. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased it. Italy leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. And the action has already resumed here. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Good run. Ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. <laughs> there aren't many who'd be prepared to wind up a shot from this far out. hit from there. Berati battles to win it back. Ramsey. Well, they could break here. <laughs> it's Verratti. Insignia delivers. Verratti. Is there any support? He might not need it. Immobile is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and having notched the goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulders as much as he'll want. And here's Insigne. Marco Verratti. And here's Insigne. And the finish! Oh, real danger. Oh, shooting chance!
speed of thoughts, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. It's a simple game. The striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Italy take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Mepham to play it forward. And that's been won straight back. And that has put play to that. And it's Jorginho. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And here's Immobile. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Too much on that, it's gone out. Wales are making a change now. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's it's pretty late. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Looks to clip it forward. Nicely measured pass. Going for goal! It's bounced out! Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. This win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side. The result reflects as much.